Hi everybody, it's Orange Tech here. Today we are diving into the Geekom A8 Mini PC. A tiny powerhouse that doesn't take up your whole desk, but promises big performance. All right, so could this be the mini PC you've been waiting for? Let's find out together. But before we do that, hit the like and the subscribe button if you love tech videos. All right, let's go. First off, the packaging is really clean. It feels premium right off the bat, and inside you get the A8 itself which let me tell you is super compact and sleek. It's a small PC and packed with power and we'll get into that in a bit. Next you get the power adapter, I think it's a 9V 6.32A and I love how small and portable this thing is. Despite packing a punch, it's the kind of thing you toss into your bag without any hassle. Ooh, and they also included an HDMI cable, which is super awesome because let's be real, not many PC chose that in. And to be honest, this saves you from having to buy one separately. Then there is a nice touch with a thank you card and the VESA mount, which lets you attach the PC to the back of your monitor or TV. Super handy if you want a clean and minimal setup. So overall, everything is here, power, connectivity and even option to mount it out of sight. I really think it's a thoughtful package and you can pretty much get your setup going straight out of the box. Let's kick things off by talking about the design. This thing is super sleek, like the matte finish really gives a modern and polished look. It's got that premium vibe you know and check this out, it's so compact it can literally fit in your backpack. Seriously it's like having a powerful desktop but it can go wherever you go. Perfect if you're working in different spaces or just want a small desk setup. Now look at the size of this thing, it weighs around 1.2 kilos if I'm right, that's about 2.5 pounds. And it measures just 112mm by 112mm by 37mm. For comparison, that's like the size of a small book or even your average sandwich container. So it's super portable, like really portable. Anyhow, not just about the size, I mean the design is smart too, the ventilation is nicely tucked away so it keeps things cool without looking like a mini jet engine, plus it's one of those gadgets that looks awesome sitting next to your monitor, like it really adds to your setup's cool factor for sure. And I know you guys really want to know what's under the hood, so let's geek out over some specs. In here we have got the AMD Ryzen 9 18945HS processor and let me tell you it's a beast, we are talking about a 16 core CPU that can turbo boost up to a mind blowing 5.2 GHz. That's really great for handling everything from multitasking to content creation. Now this fun factor is built on TSMC's 4nm FinFET technology which means better performance and efficiency. You can also get up to 64GB of DDR RAM, ensuring you that you can run multiple applications without breaking a sweat. Now I've been trying this for over 2 weeks now and sometimes I have a couple of tabs open so if you're the type that have a million tabs open while working, you will appreciate this. Now moving on to connectivity because let's face it, nobody wants to deal with lack of ports. Now the A8 gives you a ton of options. You've got multiple USB ports, both type A, type C and HDMI out for your monitor. And of course Ethernet for that good old wire internet connection. Nice. Plus it's rocking Wi-Fi 6E and a Bluetooth 5.2 which means faster wireless connection and better range for all your devices. So whether you're connecting your mouse, keyboard or speakers, you're golden. Alright, so I was testing out some specs to see how this thing performs and I ran some benchmark on the Geekom A8 and honestly I was surprised as it was averaging around 16 to 17 frames per second. For a PC like this, I wasn't really expecting that much but this thing shows that it's pretty decent and if you can see over to the right you'll notice the GPU power is hitting up to 45 watts and the temperature spikes up to 90 celsius and you can also see that the GPU temperature fluctuates quite a bit but as soon as you stop the test both the temperature and the GPU power drops down which is super good and thanks to the cooling system. So yeah, overall doing the graphics test we average around 16 frames per second, but when I first got the Geekom A8 and tested it out, 
it was actually averaging around 20 frames per second, but now it's down to 16. And I think it might just depend on the workload at the time. Like I have Premiere Pro and some other tabs running right now, so that could be affecting the performance at the moment. But also if you take a closer look at the test results, you'll notice some spikes back and forth, which is pretty interesting. And then we've got the AMD Radeon 780M integrated graphics. Now, while this won't compete with dedicated GPUs, it's pretty solid for what it is. Maybe try out some indie games or older games at lower settings. So if you're not a hardcore gamer, this setup is perfect for casual gaming and everyday productivity. Look, another thing I noticed is the thermal performance, which is super solid. I mean, this thing stays cool even in heavy usage. And what's more important, it's super quiet. There's nothing worse than a fan noise when you're trying to concentrate, right? But with the AE8, I don't feel like there's a problem with that as it stays quiet all the way. But in general, this thing is really fast for multitasking, whether it's browsing, working on Photoshop, or just handling daily tasks. It really handled the Call of Duty 6 when I was playing the beta really well. This thing is pretty impressive. So right now I'm going to try out a couple of games just to see how this PC performs while gaming. Well, it wasn't easy to find a match, but if I should mention, I had a bunch of tabs open at this point, so I wanted to see how it performs even with all this extra load. And honestly, without any stress on my end, it was running pretty well. And so far, I'm not noticing any lags, which is impressive considering that I also have some couple of application running in the background. So it's holding way better than I expected. Now given that Call of Duty is pretty demanding in terms of graphics, I was surprised at how well this PC handled it. So now I'm playing The Witcher and I'm averaging somewhere around 26 to 30 frames per second and I could have sworn that I had higher before but yeah, right now it's hovering around 26 to 30. And I am playing it at 1080p and honestly it's running pretty smooth. So if you ask me, it feels great overall. Now over to Asphalt, I felt like Asphalt is one of those games that really demands a lot from the graphics to render everything smoothly. The gameplay was really smooth and I actually enjoyed it a lot. This PC is definitely a great option for kids at home who just want something different from just playing on the Nintendo Switch. You could easily jump into this game without any stress, it was super easy, fun and surprisingly smooth to play, to be honest. And now if you're an old school gamer like me who really loves strategy games like Age of Empires and others, this PC handles them like a charm. I'm actually playing Age of Empires right now and as you can see how smooth and easy this feels. Didn't even put any settings on the highest quality, I'm just playing on the recommended graphics. And for all my designers out there, I mean this PC is really amazing. I'm working in Rhino 3D right now, doing a little CAD project. And as you can see, I've got a cafe modeled up. For all you designers out there, this setup is a game changer. I mean, you can do your CAD work while having a full desk space for sketching or just laying out markers. It makes you more efficient. Plus, with this compact PC, you don't really need a bulky machine to take up your whole desk. So now you have got more room to be creative as a designer. So what's the user experience like? Honestly, it's super smooth. It comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, so you're good to go right off the box. Now, many people might ask, who is this PC for? Well, honestly, just about everyone. I mean, I've been using this thing for a while now and I feel like this thing is really great for office work, for hotel desk, and even for designers. Like, 
I feel like designers really need the space and this will be the great product to have. And believe me, when you stack it up against other mini PCs, the Geekom A8 holds its own. No problem in my opinion, it's a great value for the money. So overall, the Geekom A8 is a killer mini PC. It's compact, powerful, looks great on any desk setup. Whether you need a mini PC for work, casual gaming or solid media center, this thing can handle it all. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're on the market for something small but mighty. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech videos.